This episode of OMG Law is brought to you by Netflix. For a free 30-day trial, head on over to netflix.com slash TV. Legends fans, for another episode of OMG Law, episode number 10 for February 20th, 2013. I'm Gary Gannon, you're watching Game Breaker TV, and joining me as always, the one, the very lovely Mr. Sean Delaney, aka Fort Court Jester. How are you, sir? Yep, doing good, Mr. Gary. It's been excellent, a excellent. very interesting week. It has been an interesting week. Let's, uh, let's get to it. What do we got first on the docket for today? Well, a little bit on more of a, a sadder and violent note, but last week, Copenhagen Wolves player The Tess actually got mugged in real life just before the LCS match went live. What? So, yeah. Mugged, like physically, in the real life, got mugged. Like on his way to the match? I don't know if it was on the way to the match, but it was earlier that day that uh, they had to put up the post saying that he can't play tonight. He's just in too much pain. Is he okay? He's, I haven't heard of anything broken. I haven't seen any follow-ups about declining health. So hopefully he is doing a speedy recovery, but ouch. <laughs> so what was the story? Was there more backstory of like how this whole thing went down? It was just a Facebook post saying that uh, the player's in too much pain. They're going to have Red and Lord step in to play for the day. Uh, and he's just going to take it easy. So oh, wow. So it sounds like he really got a... Uh, he, he, didn't just get kind of held up and, hey, give me your money or something. It sounds like they roughed him up. I mean, you're saying he's in too much pain to even play? That's what he said on the All Facebooks. right, well, I hope the test uh, makes a speedy recovery and gets back to playing yeah. some League of Legends. But, hey. Serious. Serious Scary world. Right there. Hey. <laughs> what's, uh, what's next? A bit more of a lighthearted note, but today, if you guys didn't see it, uh, GameSpot's Game Crib went live on their uh, website. So this is the total reality show of Team Solo Mid Snapdragon uh, and basically what they do day to day. What are they doing here? So it's a full on reality show, like, you know, following them around the house. What's the premise for this? Seeing the inside the life of a gamer? Um, essentially. Yeah, I mean, like, they started it off, you know, hey, I'm Reginald, TSM captain. We play League of Legends full time. This is our 12 week series focused on just, like, you know, what you don't see. So, you know, a lot of the time for LCS is going to be the main spotlight for these guys, but they also do their own vlogs and everything. But this is like everything else today. Day to day, setting up games, setting up the house, like shopping, just going out and eating. It's just anything else that a reality Fun TV dramatic show stuff. What, what, what does the odd one eat? That's what, you know, <laughs> that's what we it's all want to know. In yeah. Inquiring minds want to know. Uh, yeah. so yeah, GameSpot is, uh, is producing this thing. I guess it's on the web. And what do you think, what do you think the reality shows kind of do for, for the esports scene in general? Do you think it's a generally good thing? Just to carry more awareness around the sport and just get the word out even more. It's kind of a, a contested opinion. It depends on who you ask really, but you know, this is kind of the first step towards more mainstream content focused on League of Legends. GameSpot is trying to really break into this. I'm not entirely too sure reality TV is the way to go. I'm not really a fan of it myself, but depending on who you talk to, this is either a huge step forward or a giant leap backwards in terms mm. of the professionalism that subject. I mean, I, I hmm, cause it is a sport. So it's not like you see like football reality shows necessarily or something like that. But I do, I do think this is a step in the right direction. I mean, I think if they can kind of create more excitement around the sport in general, which I think a lot of people I think a lot of people out there, gamers and even some non-gamers, are very intrigued by, you know, what what is the life of a gamer really like? Mm -hmm. And I think, um, I don't know, I, I only think unless it's really poorly produced and just a terrible show, I think this is a step in the right direction for esports. I think creating more awareness around the sport can only be a good thing right now, and you kind of kind of got to take it where you can get it. Well, it will grant you awareness, but yeah, the production is still kind of, up in the air again depending on who you talk to some people loved it some people said eh maybe it's a 12-week series so we'll have to see if they change it up a bit which is like everything i'm still not yeah. sure about this show i'm still like eh, eh. i don't know maybe i like this show maybe i don't i don't know i 
can't really tell. I'm still, I'm still trying to work it all out. It's episode what one. is up Give next? It- <laughs> what is up next on the list for today? Uh, this is kind of a, a, a little bit of a more serious topic, but Reddit for League of Legends is huge. 200,000 summoners all come there, and as you might notice, if you do go there, you know, some votes get really, really huge upvotes, some votes mm-hmm. don't. So there is a Reddit admin post uh, just, I think it was two, two, three days ago. And basically one of the Reddit admins stepped in and said of this big blanket message to all the eSport sub forums, which includes the League of Legends subreddit, saying they're going to make changes against vote sniping, cheating, stacking, anything to do with kind of making your way to the top artificially. Which is something Reddit has always been about, right? Manipulating uh, votes is always a no-no, you know? Uh, I, yes. early on in my career as a complete noob, I completely admit my, my failure, you know? I posted something on Reddit and was like, hey, Twitter, go up vote. And people were like, nope, don't do that. And I was like, oh. Yep. Well, I didn't understand it at the time. I was like, you know, this is a long time ago, but now I totally get it. What uh, have they said? Have they talked about any of the uh, implementations of how they're going to actually do that? Well, there's a few different things that they touch upon in the message. Uh, I got it up here on the second monitor. But, you know, they, they can't really prove some of it, but it's very highly suspected. So, I mean, they're going to go anywhere from removing the posts, uh, if they do see, like, large amounts of upvotes coming in all at once, or if they, mm-hmm. all the upvotes come from the same, you know, IP or the same region, for example, an office block. Uh, and they might even go as far as removing the site from being allowed to be submitted to reddit so for a potential audience of two hundred thousand people that could really hurt don't they do that to to redditors to some extent now don't they still do is it called like shadowing or something like you you become shadow ban a a shadow ban basically so you don't really necessarily know that you're being banned but you kind of are is that correct so this is more this goes even beyond that and this specifically Mm -hmm. bans a site now you correct me if i'm wrong does that also mean that like sites could be banned improperly like if somebody were to what happens if somebody were to post something on Game Breaker TV or something and like everybody just go for some reason does flood it and it goes viral? Could they possibly it, ban Game Breaker completely from being on Reddit? It is possible. It is possible. And now, of course, you know, they say they have a lot of technology, both behind the scenes, manual technology, you know, like their eyes only kind of idea, just making sure to that, you know, that people don't get improperly banned. But it happens. I've seen it like no less than three or four times in the league subreddit. Where IGN will get a shadow banned, for example, like Hat Person had to go through that. Uh, State of League Travis, he went through that as well. So it can happen. It's not a perfect system. Like all things on the internet, especially yeah. with gamers. Gamers will game the system, right? That's all. That's all we try and do. Sean Delaney, aka Four Core Jester. Uh, follow him on the Twitter at Four Core Jester, and everywhere else it's Four Core Jester, Four Core Jester, Four Core Jester. Uh, we will be <laughs> re- bringing back. The GBL, the Game Breaker League, the Community League that we did. I don't know when. we got to figure out a date. Maybe mm-hmm. we'll figure that out this week. But we'll be bringing more back back. But follow Sean on the Twitter. Uh, you can follow me at Gary Gannon. Of course, come over to GameBreaker.tv all day, every day for all your League of Legends news and everything else. We'll see you next week for tomorrow on G Live. Later!